All right, so continuing, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to fix up this uh, cape here. Kind of pull this color down in there. I'm not going to put a lot of detail into it. And I like this uh, this kind of look I have going on where it kind of fades into the background. So I'm going to kind of bring some of those colors to show that's what's happening. And I don't know if you saw how I how I accomplished that before, but it's fairly easy. You just um, you take your background color and just kind of blend it right over the top. Just kind of brush it right over the top of it. And that's how you do it. Actually, there you go. I don't want the edge to be too dark there. Add a little bit of that. And just dark it up a little bit. kind of add some of these colors. Okay. And now I'm just going to come in here and just sharpen up some of the details and the uh, clothing here. But I honestly don't want too many details in uh, this particular. I'm trying to find the color I want there. Maybe I'm just going to kind of. Let me see here. A little bit of light on this side. So I'm going to have lighter lines on this side and darker on that side. And unfortunately, I, I end up uh, painting over the drawing too much, and I didn't save the drawing as on a different layer. I have the original drawing above it I can always look at, but... And notice, because of the, the technique that I've used since the beginning, all the different uh, colors that are appear in the uh, cloth, which is cool. So I can look at the original here just to see some of the lines that I might want to add, some of the wrinkles and everything. Um, I'm not even sure if I want all the wrinkles that I have over there, but maybe. And if so, I'm going to use a uh, slightly bigger brush. Depending on the opacity, uh, oh not the opacity, excuse me. Depending on the size, the the, um, the size of the molded, mainly it's the the DPI, the resolution of your image, then that's what affects how big your brush feels when you're using it. Like this size 5 actually feels pretty big right now, where normally it wouldn't feel this big because I'm, I'm not working as high of resolution on this particular image. Just because um, I usually do it. It usually doesn't affect the recording for me. I don't know why I didn't do it bigger, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this actually works good. And I'm going to use a little bit of smooth brush here. So I want to smooth some of this out. And uh, let's see here. Okay. I think that whole breast would kind of be darker like that in the background. Go ahead and save again get used to saving a lot because you don't want to, like I said, you don't want to lose your information that you've been doing, information of the, you know, the paint the parts that you added. The, and I, was, I just don't know if I want to go that detail with the um, with the cloth in this particular one. I like doing it different. Like, see, this one had a whole darker feel to it. And, you know, like I said, I don't like repeating myself when I do the painting again. So I'm adding this more kind of bright colors and everything, uh, you know, add a different effect. So I just don't know if I want as much detail on the, eh, maybe I'll add some of those lines, I don't know. Let's see here, I'll, maybe I'll add one line here, kind of like a wrinkle like that. I 
when I add the wrinkles, you want to add the light part of the wrinkle as well, which will follow right above the dark line. Then you want to kind of fade the edge of that line out into the color there. I'm thinking I'll just kind of run that. It'll kind of get less bright as it comes that way. something like so. The other uh, lines that I have there, I could, could run this wrinkle like that. Kind of pinches. Maybe I uh, can run Actually, I'm doing that backwards. I should. Well, there would be a little bit, but it'd be more of that color, like that. So I'm going to bring these wrinkles. I'm going to use uh, this kind of color here, I guess. Actually, you know, for this side, I think I'm going to go with more of this kind of color. And you kind of fade this color in there to get rid of some of the shadow line you've created. I'm going to kind of fade this up. So, and then I'm going to get rid of the highlight just a little bit so it doesn't kind of fade some of those colors. lines. Like I said, in this one I'm not going to get as detail with the cloth, so just something like that. Maybe I will, um, let's see here, what color I'll use this color. I will go ahead and do this. I will bring this up to that part. And kind of draw that color down. Get a highlight color. And I'll do a couple. Wrinkles right here. Maybe add one wrinkle right there. Oops. some shadow there. And I'll add a couple wrinkles. So, I think that'll be all. Go ahead and save this, and just about done. So, like always, um, like I said, sometimes I'll put different links in the description, and if you just go ahead and click on that link, uh, that's how you can support me, if you care to. And also, I like, uh, you know, having comments and stuff, but you know what you think and what you'd like to see and all that. Okay, so that's it for this part, and we'll continue on with the next one.